Hey guys, it's Sarah from Just My Typewriter, and I have again been on eBay looking up toys related to typewriters and text. Sorry, it happens. So this time I have found the Deluxe Star Printing Press Toy. This is a little tin toy that you can use to print your own materials. I believe the instructions said, uh, be a reporter, a publisher, print your own booklets, newsletters, and press releases. Which sounds fun to me. I've always wanted to be a reporter, especially with my own printing press. So here I am today trying to figure out how it works, because uh, it's a little intimidating. So here are all the parts that go along with this printing press. Here are all the supplies in this box, including the letters, the rubber letters that go into the little trays that go on the printing press. Now I got this one for pretty cheap because it has some damage. So this side looks pretty okay. This side, not so much, but hey, I'm a printer. I can use whatever tools I have available to me, and that's what I will use to print things. So I recently watched the documentary Pressing On. So good. Uh, the typewriter habit started because of California typewriter. I'm not gonna start collecting letter presses, I promise. I don't have the kind of space for that kind of uh, commitment, but I do wanna try out this little letter press to kinda get my feet wet in the letter press territory. So I don't really know what I'm doing. I did watch a tutorial. There are surprisingly very few tutorials on how to do this properly on the internet. I was only able to find one and I have linked that below. So a couple months ago when I got this product, I actually did try putting everything into order to make my own little phrase on the printing press. Uh, everything has to be backwards because you'll be printing it backwards when you print it on the Star Deluxe printer publisher thing with the wheel printing press toy for boys and girls 8 to 14. Why you couldn't be 15 and use this toy, I don't know, but apparently you can't be. So they gave us this ink that'll then go on the cloth part of the roller. That's how you ink all of the letters that'll go onto the paper. They also gave us some tester paper to use, some instructions on how to properly do it. Although, did I read them? Mm -mm. But this is, oh, directions for applying the ink. Okay, set the press on the table. Done. Okay, I've wet one end, getting it everywhere. Oh, maybe this will work, except the whole thing is getting wet now. How does it fit into the little tracks? Maybe this rubber was like way more malleable at one point than it is now. Get to it. I don't understand how that's supposed to go in there. How do these fit? Ooh, they have a tool for this. Okay, I'm just gonna try feeding paper into this and see what happens. Nothing happened, that's okay. Let's try again. Well, we printed something. It just happens to be upside down. So that's covered in ink. I'm covered in ink. Paper's ready to go. Hey, it kind of worked a little bit. So here's how it works. You take the ink roller and you move it closer to the drum that has the letters on it. Then you have to engage the paper feeder, kind of like on a typewriter, and make sure that that's high enough to grip the paper and then feed it through the drum. Then you roll it through the drum, the ink hits the letters, the letters hit the page in backwards order, and then on the other side, it spits out your final printed page. So a couple things I am noticing is that I definitely inked the cloth 
way too far out to the edges because I am getting these consistent inked lines on the side. I happen to think they're kind of cool, but if you're looking for a clean print, I guess you won't want to be inking all the way out to the outsides. I also probably should have spaced things better, but I found that the tire iron hook thing that you use to pry up the sides was just way too tiny and like asking too much of my patience, honestly, to do a really good spacing on things. If I was going to do this again, I definitely would space things better. And then I also think the placement should be better. It's kind of in the middle of the page, almost low to the middle of the page. And that I think would take some experimenting to figure out where the sweet spot is for where to place your letters. At one point, I think I had them too high up. It's why I was missing a couple of the words on the page. And the first time when I tried, I think I had it too low. So somewhere in the middle of everything that I've tried today is the right thing. Overall, I think it's amazing that all the tools are included with this. You've got the little tweezers to place the letters into the trays. You've also got all of the letters you can use and a holder for those letters. They give you the tire iron to pry up the sides, a full bottle of ink plus a brush, and a bunch of cloths that you can then use to ink the letters plus some papers to roll through it. I think it's just a really awesome experience. I'm enjoying it. And I think it's a great way to lead into typewriters. Some of the toy typewriters we've looked at before are great for having a kid have something that they can sit next to their parent and try. But if you go from the progression of looking at a toy printing press and then a toy typewriter, you can see how different the process is of using them and how different the process of actually printing letters is. So on this one, it takes a lot more time to painstakingly put the letters into the trays, put the trays in the roller and then roll them through. Whereas on a toy typewriter, you just type as you go and you can express your thoughts right up on the page. So I think that's an interesting way to show the progression not only in children's toys, but also in the technology. And now we have kids playing with iPads and Pokemon Go and TikTok. I don't know, I'm 87 on the inside, so I don't really understand any of that. This is much more my speed. If you guys are interested in more typewriter content, learning more about children's toys, because apparently that's a thing I do now, feel free to check out the videos on this YouTube channel. We also have an Instagram at just.my.typewriter. I want to thank you guys so much for watching today and remind you that you're just my type writer.